Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel DIY Savvy Mommy. Welcome back if you are returning and welcome if you are new here. I am Kshitij and I create DIYs, art, home decor videos here on my channel. And today I am starting off with my first video for the holiday season. And I can't wait to share all my Christmas DIYs with all of you. So without further delay, let's begin with the first DIY. For the first DIY, I am creating a Christmas wreath. Yes, Christmas is incomplete without a beautiful wreath and I have already decided on my color palette for this season. And it's going to be a rose gold, dusty pink and teal. And I really love these colors. And I am also going to use a little bit of pop of red and green for a slightly traditional touch. So I took this wreath, uh, wreath form, uh, it already had these fine leaves on it and then I put some pink poncita flowers, um, I just glued them with the help of um, hot glue, just arranging them randomly on one side of the wreath. You can use, uh, I mean you can just uh, glue them however you want, maybe in the center or uh, just all around the wreath. And use any color flowers poinsettia comes in various colors depending upon your choice i wanted to uh, the entire read to have a pink and rose gold um, touch so yeah and um, then i glued some uh, rose gold ornaments so here i'm just gluing the ornaments with the help of hot glue and i also added a touch of um, chrome metallic color berries or a more frosty look and a little bit of bright and merry look then I had this wooden cutout of a Christmas tree and I sprayed painted it with chrome metallic paint and I then let it dry and uh, this is going to add a bit of more glam touch because of the chrome metallic finish and I let it dry and meanwhile I put some silver and chrome ornaments so that it the wreath looks more bright because the dusty pink makes it li little muted so i wanted to have a merry and bright kind of finish also to my wreath and a little bit of glam touch also so here's my wooden cutout it's uh, absolutely dry and you can see that it's uh, having the shiny finish the chrome finish i really like it uh, when it when the light falls on it it is really shiny and really pretty and then i glued it to one side of the wreath and this is my wreath how it looks i think it looks gorgeous upon completion and the pink poinsettia flowers the dusted pink color add a really fresh touch to the dark green pine leaves of the wreath form and also the uh, chrome metallic finish of the christmas tree uh, wooden cutout and the bubbles add a really glam touch to my wreath i really like how this turned out today i'm participating in the celebrate the holidays challenge hosted by mary from bargain bluebird and her co-host for today is mom from the channel creative diy by mom das both of them are amazing creators and i have linked their channels down in the description box and also the playlist for today if you want to have amazing holiday decor inspiration don't forget to check out the playlist and uh, moving on to my second diy i wanted to create a gnome out of a christmas tree and for that i took felt fabric in square shape and i folded it um, like so and cut off the rounded side then i made a little cone shape out of it i folded the two ends together and glued it um, with the help of hot glue and this forms a cone shape and this is going to be the cap of the gnome i'll just show you in a moment how this turns out into a perfect gnome next i had the shimmery white christmas tree with me and i think this is perfect to make it into a gnome and um, 
for that i just pushed the cone on top of the tree and this is how it looks and uh, the next step is i just glued a wooden bead uh, right below the where the cone ends and this forms the nose of the gnome then to make the hands of the gnome i cut out felt fabric i sketched two hands on felt fabric and i cut it out in shape and glued the two pieces together and next i filled uh, the hands with polyfill and glued everything together all the sides together and glued both the hands on either sides of the gnome Similarly, I made both the hands of the gnome. I just cut it out um, two pieces and glued the pieces together. Left some place to uh, fill it up with polyfill and then glued up everything together, secured everything together, and then glued the hands on the either sides. And uh, my gnome is already coming together. And uh, the white Christmas tree looks like the beard and the red cone looks like the cap so yeah you can just see in a bit how it looks To embellish the cap, I glued some rhinestones on top and the gnome is uh, complete. And that's all for today's DIY. Let me know which out of the two DIYs you like more. And also share what colors are you using for your uh, Christmas decor this year. So thanks a lot for watching. If you really enjoyed watching today's video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and i'm going to bring some more fun christmas diys holiday diys and many more exciting stuff coming very soon um, thanks a lot for watching once again and i shall see you all in the next video bye bye take care